Well, here it is, June 12th, 2013. That's the air conditioner you hear in the background. Okay. Let me zoom out so it don't look like I'm trying to... Those are my uh, radishes. There's some... Uh, Cucumbers all up and down through there. <laughs> There's my, yeah, I, it's got weeds in it. I see it. I know. Uh, this right here is called sugar bun corn, sweet corn, sugar buns. I've never heard of it, but I'm trying it. It's right, it's all right there. And that's some more sugar bun. Now, this is the regular sweet corn. And they've always said knee high by the 4th of July. That's almost up to my waist already. Man, <laughs> it's June. All right. And then I've got some red potatoes and some regular Idaho potatoes. I don't have a bunch, but I've got enough. And there's some more, uh, a different type of a cucumber. One's pickling and one's straight eight. That over there is pickling, and I believe this is straight eight. Uh, I do have a lot more stuff here. Down in between there is some, uh, oops, I'm focused in on the wrong thing. There it is. Like I said, it still has a bunch of weeds in it. <laughs> that Super Thrive don't only help gardens, I guess. <laughs> it helps the weeds too, but uh, there's right there some uh, pumpkins. I've got some uh, cantaloupe in there somewhere. It's growing, but seriously. Now this, I've got those all over the place. Sunflowers. I planted sunflowers last year and grew some sunflowers. I've been trying to trim that tree so I can get sun back here. The first time I planted corn back here, it grew up to be seven and a half, eight feet tall, right here in the same spot. But for some reason, Last year it wouldn't grow because of the weather, I guess. But also, here's my uh, uh, green beans, uh, Kentucky Blue Wonders on this, uh, the uh, not the bush, but the uh, other ones, pole beans. Thank you. And somehow a pole bean got way over here to the side. That's okay. See if it'll grow. <laughs> then. <laughs> Here's some more Big Max pumpkins. Right there. There's actually eight plants there. There's, there's one, two, three, and then one other one popped up underneath that one. Right there. See it down in there underneath. I don't know how it did that because I had them spaced out. But anyway, animals around here getting in the garden. And there's four more there. Big Macs. Back there, watermelons. The Charlotte Grays. And of course, I, mean, I know I'm moving around too fast. There's some more of my straw. My, well, not more of my strawberries. There's my strawberries. I've been picking them ever since the middle of May. I just picked another handful. All right, here's uh, my beefsteak tomato plants. I've got three of those. For some reason, that, out of all my tomato plants, that right there is not taking off very well, and I'm watering it all just the same. But, as you can see, and I'm going to transplant these. Right here's some more tomato plants. They're wild from a couple of years ago, I guess. They started popping up after I uh, tilled them. I'll go, those three over there are beefsteak. These three right here. There's one. Two. 
three, those are my German Johnsons. And I have to come out here every other day and realign that up and let it grow up into the, uh, the tomato cage. But uh, I'll show you something I've done this year that I, I learned from my father-in-law that he's brought from Tennessee. As you can see, I've got a little a hole dug next to each one of my plants, and I've got a, a solo cup down there with a hole in it. Well, when it rains, it fills up with water, plus, you know, water in the plant. Or whenever I'm watering out here, I make sure they're all full. But uh, that helps get the uh, water to the roots. And it seems to, <laughs> you'll see, it has seemed to help. Because there's a four-foot high fence, and I look. See how tall my tomatoes are? Now these are my cherry tomatoes down here, and I've already got tomatoes on them. Let me see if I can find them. I just had a handful a minute ago. Oh well, it's on the southern. There's a couple on this one, but there's. Oh, here they are. You can see them down there. Hmm, them are gonna be good. These things are big cherry tomatoes. All three plants have cherry tomatoes on. Okay, but the ones I didn't mention in the middle, or I might have mentioned them, forgot, my brain's crazy. Uh, these three in the middle, if anybody has any information on them, they're German Johnsons. Oh my goodness, look, I just found something. Look what's right there. I've got some tomatoes growing on my German Johnson. Didn't even see that until just now. <laughs> but, uh, Anybody has any idea about those, please let me know. Oh, I've got some more green beans out here, of course. Out along my fence. I get so tied up in this stuff. One other thing I want to show you. I've got sugar buns. More of them out here. And then I've got all my onions. They seem to do real, real well out here for some reason. I think it's because it's a, it was a yard, but uh, years and years ago, there was a, I guess way before my time, there was a garage set in here. So, uh, but it seems to do good on the onions. All kinds of onions growing through here. I've got about 160 to 180 plants of onions. And then you can see some more sugar buns in between the rows. <laughs> I just did that just for the heck of it, just see what happened. Now, here's something else that I've been told that you can't let your seeds get old. I've had this pack of seeds that I planted down here at least a good 10 years. I know there's weeds around it, but you'll see what I'm talking about. See that right there? Those right there? Those are my carrots. I've had them seeds, same seeds for 10, maybe 12 years. I just threw them out here just to see what would happen. Just put one little line out here because I wasn't sure they'd grow, but there you go. That's my garden, how it's doing. After I planted it in May or March, April, Around May 1st, May 2nd, I don't know, around that time. Thank you very much.